Let's now shift our focus to the big story that uh, we are in fact tracking from Tamil Nadu where the Madras High Court has in fact acquitted B. Chinnaswamy, the prime accused uh, father of Kausalya in the sensational 2016 uh, Udumalpet Shankar murder case from all charges. He set aside the death sentence that was imposed uh, in the trial court in December 2017. My colleague Sam Daniels is joining us with the details of the story. Uh, Sam, the Madras High Court uh, has in fact um, reversed the death sentence into a life imprisonment. What more details can you share with us? That's right. The lower court had given death sentence to six people, including the father of Kausalya, whose uh, husband, an SC community young man, was hacked to death in 2016. And the Madras High Court today has acquitted her father and has commuted the death sentence of five other men to 25 years of jail term without any remission possibilities. We are waiting for the orders to get the real details in terms of what led to this uh, change in verdict. But uh, this happened in the year 2016. Uh, Shankar, who was hacked to death by a group of men uh, in Urumal Pet, uh, was doing his third year engineering. He belongs to a, an SC community and he had married Kausalya from an upper caste. And Kausalya's parents were up in arms against this. And the prosecution's allegation was they had arranged this group of three men to hack him to death. In fact, they targeted both, but uh, she survived finally. And the CCTV video went viral. It shook the entire country. It showed how this couple, as they were talking and walking happily, these, uh, this group of three men who came on a motorcycle, uh, stopped them, hacked them, and they escaped. And uh, ultimately, she survived. And a short while ago, Kausalya has responded, saying that my struggle for justice will continue. We will go to the Supreme Court. This is injustice, not justice for Shankar's blood. I was not updated about High Court proceedings, blaming the Tamil Nadu prosecution of not keeping her up to speed with the, the developments in the Madras High Court. So this, in a sense, also highlights the infamous uh, dishonor killings in Tamil Nadu, particularly uh, when right. people belonging, men belonging to the scheduled caste marry someone from the upper caste. And uh, uh, it's a tragic thing. But this one certainly has raised several questions. But we'll have to wait for the order to get a clear in indication of uh, what went wrong. All but right. we hear from government lawyers that the government will also appeal in the Supreme Court. All right, uh, we will have to wait for the details of the order, Sam, like you said, to know more. But what we know at this moment is that the Madras High Court has, in fact, uh, uh, they've, they've exonerated them from the death sentence and the death sentence has, in fact, been converted into a life in prison. Appreciate you joining us with the details of the story. We'll come back to you for more updates.